Hi everybody. Today we will talk about the MPDM version 4, the Universal AC Dimmer Board that you know already. And this time we will um, explore how to use it directly connected to a Raspberry Pi. In our case, we are talking about a Raspberry Pi 2. So uh, what we will need for the uh, today exercise, it's obviously a Raspberry uh, 2 uh, Pi board, uh, an MPDM version 4 AC dimmer, um, a light bulb. In this case, I'm using uh, something that is very, very hard to find these days. I mean, um, a standard filament light bulb. Uh, I prefer this kind of um, light bulb for the tutorials because it will be very, very easy to to see the dimming yeah so uh, uh, when the dimming is very low uh, you can see very very nice the the filament uh, glowing uh, and uh, it's uh, also easier to to catch on on camera uh, the new ones the echo halogen light bulbs that are now the new standard if you want uh, are a little bit uh, more tricky to to give, um, let's say, a proper image on the camera and they are producing uh, a quite annoying flickering. But it really doesn't make sense. It's working in the same way with, with the echo halogen ones and so on. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so now back to our hardware. As I said, we have the uh, Raspberry Pi to board. We have the... Um, MPDM version 4 AC dimmer board and uh, the connection between it's very very simple uh, we will use uh, the GPIO header from the Raspberry Pi uh, for the connection uh, actually let's switch a little bit further and um, let's take a look on the on the header yeah so for our specific uh, connection we will use the the pin one that is the 3.3 volt one uh, you can see it here it's the orange one uh, we will use also a second pin the yellow one that it's here number six it's pin number six on the header uh, this will be the ground and for the the voltage control that we need for our MPDM version 4 board. Uh, we will use um, the BCM uh, pin number 18. Yeah, This is actually the, the hardware PWM uh, pin. Uh, it's the header pin number 12. Yeah, So uh, that's all in terms of, of connections. Uh, <clears throat> as you probably know already, um, the MPDM version 4 board has everything on board. You have the zero cross detection functions, the phase detection functions, and so on. So uh, the only thing that you need to provide, it's a, it's a form of voltage control. In our case, we will use the PWM and uh, VCC on the ground, and that's it. Uh, OK, so uh, these are the, this is the wiring and the, the connection. Uh, let's go on the software side and let's see what's happening. <clears throat> um, the first thing that <clears throat> we need to find out is uh, how we will access and how we will drive uh, the GPIO pins. Um, as you know already, there are a lot of libraries around. Uh, one of the most used one is WiringPy. Uh, but um, <clears throat> in this case, and actually also for the next examples, uh, I will use the, um, the Pi GPIO. I find it, uh, uh, let's say, um, a little bit better than the other ones. And one of the things that I, I really like um, about the Pi GPIO, it's the fact that um, it provides you with with a daemon yeah so you have a daemon that can be launched in in the background and it's giving you direct um, access through through pipes and also through sockets 
and you will see that <clears throat> this thing will help us a lot in the next uh, episode when we will talk about the domotics integration yeah so for the domotics setup uh, this thing will will help us a lot yeah uh, regarding the the pi gpio it's uh, quite simple to install actually uh, to make it even simpler i done um, a small uh, a small um, install script yeah uh, all the all the files that i'm i'm talking here about uh, can be found in uh, in the related uh, blog post yeah so the install script the the test scripts and all the scripts related with uh, can be found there yeah okay so <clears throat> as i said uh, i've just created a, a very very simple uh, install script yeah uh, basically what is doing it's just connecting uh, to the um, uh, origin website and is bringing the pi gpio package and it will uh, unzip the archive and will make and make install and so on yeah so let's um, <clears throat> let's give it a, a let's give it a, a try uh, i've just created um, a directory where we are playing with yeah it's the pi gpio directory yeah okay so <clears throat> I'm just uh, calling the install uh, script. Uh, as you can see, was already downloading very quick the the files, and now it's it's compiling. Uh, yeah. Um, what's also very interesting related with uh, with the um, PyGPIO package, it's the fact that uh, you can have also a very nice um, um, hardware PWM access yeah so we are interested now to use the hardware PWM and also it has some sort of uh, software PWM so if you need more than one or uh, two hardware PWM pins so you need to access let's say more than two uh, MPDM uh, AC dimmer boards, uh, then you can uh, access through um, the DMA um, utility that they are using also the other pins. Uh, it's working way better than the pure software one. Yeah, so you can consider the the DMA one like uh, let's say something in the middle between the hardware PWM and the the software implementation of the PWM. Yeah. Okay, so let's go further. Uh, has finished, um, has finished building, and everything looks okay. Okay, yeah. Also, the directory was created. Now, I will just copy the test in the Py GPIO directory um, the first thing that we need to do now is to to start the daemon as i said it has a very very nice daemon that it's running in the background um, so let's see what's happening around <clears throat> Probably huh. it's the old one running, of course. Let me kill this one first. I, I was playing a little bit before with okay. Um, now it's out, and now it started. <coughs> okay um let's use the the test program uh first i will i will just run it quickly and after that i will explain what's in the in the test program actually you will see the test program <clears throat> it's a very very simple python script that 
we are using to to test our setup yeah okay so it's saying connect it to pi gpi or daemon so everything should be okay from this point of view let's try to in enter some dimmer values um 500 for example um 550 600 i think from now will be easier to see the dimming 700 720 750 um, 780 800 820 and <clears throat> as you can see from from the the dimmer values that we are entering here it's uh, keeping almost the same uh, dimming interval as when you use it with the ESP8266 and we use it with Arduino and we will use it with whatever other boards we'll use it yeah yeah uh, <clears throat> this is what uh, I was talking about why I like so much these light bulbs that has unfortunately disappeared I don't know I have left only two yeah when they will be burned I don't know what I will do next <laughs> um, you see the the filament so now we are very very dim yeah 820 it's very close to the end of the dimming interval um, you can see it now how stable it is yeah so it's no flickering no nothing yeah just staying there so that means that the the quality of the pwm signal that we are receiving it's very good uh let's go further 840 now probably it's still visible yeah but very 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 dim 850 should be almost off and i consider for this setup 860 as the um, let's say end of the of the dimming interval yeah so at 860 it will say that it's out of range and it will exit and you can see that the light bulb it's totally off yeah okay now in terms of the the test program as i said it's a very very simple python script so you will find it in in the link uh, below yeah so in the related uh, blog article you will find the source um you have uh, again here the wiring table yeah so uh, voltage control it's uh, gpio 18 keep in mind that this is bcm numbering yeah uh, the corresponding one is header pin number 12 on the raspberry pi yeah ground it's ground and it's header pin number six and vcc is vcc and we are using this time the plus 3.3 volt and this header pin number one uh, <clears throat> in terms of software we are just importing the pi gpi library we are declaring the gpi pin that we are using in our case it's uh, bcm numbering 18 yeah uh, and we are checking to see if we are properly connected to the pi gpi daemon yeah if everything is okay then we will print connected to pi gpi or daemon uh, and after that the the test program it's waiting the input from the user uh, the dimming interval that i established for this test it's between 0 and 860 so as soon as you are over 860 it will go out and it will exit um, the only function that we use here and it's a special function related with the pi gpio is the pi hardware pwm one yeah so you you will find in in the related documentation all the the things related with yeah so basically you are giving the gpio pin and uh, the frequency and the duty cycle and that's it okay so um, that's all for today uh, next time we will uh, go 
a little bit further and we will talk about um, full domotics integration of the Raspberry Pi with the MPDM version 4 AC dimmer connected directly through the GPIO header. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like my tutorials, uh, please give me a big thumbs up and also please subscribe. See you next time.